day two, Key and Dan, it's windy. Yeah. And I'm removing the bulkhead. Hopefully the bulkhead will be gone. The only thing I'm struggling with, so maybe by the time this is uploaded, I might be able to get some advice, is the first half come out fine. That's what I'm resting the phone on. The other half has a seatbelt mounted to it. And that seatbelt runs down here. So I don't know how to uh, detach the seatbelt from the bulkhead, from that bottom, and then also the seatbelt clip goes into the release bit, which is on the other side on this chair. Those, I think they all have to be removed for it to be reclassified and also pass the MOT. So this is the snag I've hit. Yeah, it's just stressing me out now this bit. I'm waiting for some lining stuff to come to line the van. Um, and I might need some more insulation to stuff in. Also, I've got no power tools. I can't get these off. That one. That wall. I uh, just can't get the screws out for the screwdriver. Just doing my hands in. Uh, so it's annoying yet, I can't get the floor up. So I need a powered, powered screwdriver drill thing. Uh, uh. During this process as well, um, I found this little Tupperware box, which is quite handy for putting all the things I take out of the screws. I went to Home Bargains and I saw this Gorilla Fitter, which is an expanding foam, which I might attempt to use as a trial thing to see how it works. And they had this um, adhesive spray as well. They're about half the price in Home Bargains compared to Amazon. So I've grabbed them and let me just show you. This what I'm sitting on is gonna go into the strap at work, it's an underliner for the floor, it's got a foil side, a little bit of thickness and because I'm worried about losing too much head height, but I've got this foam here, it should be alright for now. I was wondering should I take this, cut this up and stick it here, it's got foil on it, it's a bit thinner, would that make an okay insulation thing? I don't know. Or do I put it on the sides as well? I don't know, but it seems like it's it's worth using. Uh, oh, the other thing I did today was a deadened these. So that's deadened. I will have to. I will have to put some insulation on that panel or something, I guess. Yeah, and other ideas, this gap here. So much wasted space, but the board's there, so you can screw into that to use, but I don't want that wasted space. So could you like shape this board so it doesn't waste as much space to fit that curve? Or have half a board here, cut it, put a ledge, do it here with a ledge and in that middle bit, just board off somehow. Then you've got like a little ledge and you're using that for like a shelf, I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot of wasted space there. Yeah. So the bolts come out here and here and then the seat belt is connected to this bolt here. So that should take away the seat belt, which means it should slide through at least the bulkhead and come out. And it's just a matter of detaching it from there. That's the next step. Um, we'll see.
We'll see how this bit goes. Ooh, nice gap down there, though. Nice bit of storage there, isn't it? Right. I've detached the seatbelt from the chain, so I'm thinking I'll just pass through there and out. Right, that's part of it. That is the seatbelt separated from the bulkhead, but it still runs into there. Still won't be okay for an MOT. I don't know if that's plastic that pops off. It's a cover in it. Oh wait, is that a bolt there? Is that a bolt? I can't see. It might be a bolt. Yeah, is that part of it? What does that bolt do down there? Yeah, so it's that. That's the seat belt bit that needs to come out as well. That needs to come out. And then it will be a two-seater only. Uh, people saying get rid of both seats, but I still have passengers sometimes. Only one normally. So if I take away both seats, I lose the passenger status, don't I? I mean, you could convert it into a one seat. It's a full seat, but then that's more cost and stuff, isn't it? So, it's just trying to work with what you've got. Uh, this protrudes past this line here as well, which is quite annoying. If it was movable, like could be slid, you could um, have a nice straight edge. But I get it why people say take the chairs out because take these two chairs out, you gain all that space there, a lot of space, a lot of space. And I like what I've seen people do is they put a little false wall here with a sliding door. So they get privacy, close the door, open the door, and they can just step through. And then you see all the storage they need down the bottom here. I don't know. I didn't get the van. So the motivation on the van wasn't to have loads of passengers. No, I didn't start van life so I could always have passengers. Um, so I need to keep that in mind. It's about living in the van and experiencing stuff. And if someone tagged along, great. But it can't be the main focus. Um, decisions to make in the future, I think. We'll get the back sorted and we'll see how it goes doing this before I decide if the front seats go. That's the next step. This is the one. It's on like this little swivel thing. This part, the bolted front bit, and this is the main fitting of oh, this one. This is the one that needs to come out part of this chair and the seatbelt came down there into it so that's the one I need to remove and is it as easy as just I said they're designed to be pretty strong but can you simply just cut the seatbelt or do you have to remove this middle bit as well from the MOT pass and stuff questions I generally don't know yeah, day two is only a short one. Uh, I think I'm gonna get this bulkhead photos taken and get that up for sale. See if I'll get some money in. And then I need to either borrow a power drill or eventually buy one. So I need to get these off. I can't get them off by hand. The back ones I managed to. But these wooden ones, the screws are just not coming out. And I need to remove all that plastic, get all this floor up, and then just do a day of cleaning it and insulating it, just a full day on it. Uh, yeah, hopefully now I can start moving things back into the van. Oh, yeah. And I've got to work out this seatbelt issue. It's all being removed now, but the seatbelt is still attached at the bottom of the van. That's the next bit I need to work out, like... One, how do I get to it? 
I've got a bad feeling that I've got to remove the seat somehow to get to that. I'm hoping it's not that. Um, I tried looking online, YouTube and Googling things and I just can't find anything. How to remove a seatbelt from the Persia Palmer. Nothing's coming up. But it's obviously to do with that little box. Um, I don't know if you pop it off. It's covered in paint, so I don't know if it's just stuck with paint. That's why it looks like it's firm. Or does it need a bolt to undo it and get into it? I don't want to just bend things and snap things. <laughs> so it worries me. But, um, but yeah. It's almost like taking five steps back from where I started to where I am now. I moved into the van, just had my stuff in the side of an ottoman. I slept here and it all just worked easy. But now I'm modifying and I'm insulating because winter's coming. I've had to take everything out so I can't sleep in there at the moment. Plus I'm still staying at mum's until she's able to do do things herself after her operation. Uh, it feels like taking steps back before the next steps forward. A lot of mess, a lot of pulling out, moving things. Uh, and you've still got to work full time as well, you? as you all know. Work full time and then try and fit these things in. And we're in the season where the rain's coming a lot. So you just do what you do, what you can do, when you can do. But I really want to get, in the next week or two, all the insulation done. And even the flooring down, maybe. And then I can start looking at curtains for the privacy. And and there then it's about like how are you going to put a bed in here <laughs> how are you going to sleep are you going to remove the chairs so much to think about uh, got overwhelmed earlier it's like too many things I was like, oh, and the cost as well it's like, oh. but one thing at a time everything has to come out be stored in, in the spare room for now Get everything sound deadened, everything insulated, everything vapor wrapped. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Then you stop and go right. What's next? Next will be either cladding or carpeting. Everyone keeps saying carpet because of the cladding and the weight. I've always wanted cladding, but maybe on a bigger van it'd be better. So then carpeting. So I'll get the carpet, and then carpet all this. Put some vinyl on the floor and then I think the actual inside layout will be done. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is day two. Old kid is out. If I haven't solved it by the time, please still put a comment in about how to get that seat belt out. Uh, the seat belt clip, obviously the bit that goes into. How do I remove that? Do I just cut it and remove it? And the seat belt where it runs into the middle of the van. How do I get that out as well? Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on this. And we'll see you soon. We'll have day three up at some point when I do it. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There's a lot of noises and grunts at the moment. Need to go, oh, oh, uh. Procrastination, overthinking. No, yeah. Thank you for joining me. Take care and we'll, we'll speak soon, hopefully with some more changes.